All right, some interesting stuff is happening in Global. Uh, we got some additions to the files uh, alongside of the 100 days uh, part two celebration that we just got. And one thing that happened that I've been tagged on Twitter multiple times. I did a stream earlier today, and um, people constantly ask me about the uh, about this, well, what this means. So um, if you go on right now, of course, if you go in the raid section, uh, my friend James made this post right here. I'm using his as an example. Um, in the raid section, the deathmatch se section, you can see Awaken Lilia deathmatch, which is, um, of course, a deathmatch that happened in GP during the 7 7. <laughs> I was just gonna say the 7, seven million dollar celebration. Uh, the 7 million dollar celebration happened on GP pretty much when the Global came out. Uh, Global released and almost like a week later or something, we had the celebration on GP, which brought us Lost Week Meliodas, which is, you know, <laughs> the god of this game. Um, and also brought this new activity that was the Lilia Deathmatch. Now, a lot of people have been asking me, does this mean Lilia is coming out for Global soon? And I do not believe so. I, I genuinely don't believe so. And the reason for it is because of difficulty, but to be fair, if they would bring it, they could tone it down and make it more easy, but it was very difficult. And um, I mean, right now Global has level 80, and you guys now also have UR gear, not for that many characters, but the yeah, introduction of UR gear means more and more characters are going to get UR gear eventually, right? So, um, you know, boosting up the character, usually the raid would not be so bad, but it was a very difficult raid. Um, so, I don't know, I, I don't believe so. Uh, another thing to, you know, kind of, um, kind of uh, put in mind that I, I don't think this will happen, because the way that you you would get Lilia's deathmatch would be just like you get you no know, boss stages, the regular boss stages. I'm actually doing a boss stage right now in GP because I'm farming the materials. Uh, by completing the boss stage, you'd get you know a deathmatch. There were three boss stages of the three original characters, or three of the original characters, right? Valenti, uh, Valenti, Mano, and um, Easton, and you'd complete them, and then you'd get three raids a day. That was how many you could get, and you'd get Lilia. So, but here's the thing, Mono and Easton are not in the game yet, so at, at the very least, until Mono and Easton aren't on global, I don't believe this activity will, will be a thing, and honestly, they could just bring this as a whole package of the, um, the celebration itself by happening on global, maybe with another name, I don't know, because it would be, you know, kind of weird, giving the same name, given that it's a Donald celebration, they could just... Uh, you know, uh, say, say something else, but yeah, until then, I don't think so. The raid was actually pretty fun, and um, let me quickly explain why we had this tab. Like, the raid had all three elements. The, the the actual enemy had all three elements, and in the beginning when the raid dropped, we didn't have this. So every time you had to get a raid, you'd have to change your team every single time depending on the element, and then they introduced this. And now, I believe so. Global uh, probably you know. Uh, added a lot of these, a lot of these files in the game that were from this this period of time, and they maybe accidentally showed this. Um, I because you no, know, there's no point. There's, there's no point in having this if not if the raid is not active. Let me quickly check if GP still has this. Had to wait for the activity to end. Let me go on event. Uh, an event because I read this here. Deathmatch. Oh, it is active. Interesting. Lilia's that I when this was a uh, when this thing was live I had already completed deathmatch thingies I, I didn't have to do it anymore that's why my other teams are not even saved. Um, interesting, the deathmatch for Lilia thing is still active on GP, so I guess it, it's just it's just there. You know the, the activity is not even live on, on GP anymore and it's still here, right? Even though it has no practical use at all, at all. So I'm, I'm guessing it's just there, right? It's just, just sitting there for no reason. And the same, the same will be for Global until the, the activity comes out. Uh, also, my friend Sora here bring up a good, a good point. It's kind of been cut off, but uh, the uh, the way you get, right, is by completing the uh, the raids on extreme, or the, the boss stages on extreme. This was the best, the absolute best way of farming anything in the game. And what I mean by that is, let me let me let me let me show you real quick. How, like, people, on, when I'm stream and I open my inventory, people ask this all the time. That's, that's every time, no fail, people ask me, how do I have this many 5-star Awakening Stones? How do I have this many? The reason for it 
was because in this event it dropped so many five star and four star wicked medals they dropped so many chalices look at 93 of these six star chalices they dropped so many chalices so many books so many um so many uh awakening medals it dropped so many of these as well the uh the level materials i i have not farmed a single level material since pretty like three months ago i have not farmed a single stage of level material for the past three months just living off of those it dropped so many years of and it dropped so much gold like right now i have 40 million but in the period of time that this event was live i probably used half a billion gold just on gear gotcha and i'm not exaggerating it, it dropped so much gold uh but the stage was not the easiest um you'd have like, like a lot of people a lot of people started playing jp to play the event because oh the defense so good but they couldn't really auto extreme because it was so difficult but to be fair they could tone down the, the difficulty uh for sora even brings it up right here. Um, uh, ah, I, it was so, it was somewhere, but I remember someone to, uh, bring it up. They could just tone down the difficulty, and that could be a thing. But no, I don't believe so. I think they just added, you know, files. Like it, they even mentioned. I remember the uh, the clean campaign uh, post. They mentioned how just because they add something to the game files doesn't mean it's gonna come up like at the same moment and that's exactly one of the um, one of the uh, many things right we've had like we have in the files the um the assets for melascula the, the red one the coin shop melascula which should not come out for a little long um lilia's coins in the, in the game files and she hasn't come out yet you know stuff like that just because it's added to the game doesn't mean it's gonna be a, a the next update um, something else, of course, uh, this right here, this was also part of the 777, whatever, millions of dollars celebration, um, that gave Fraugen, again, I don't believe either Lost Bane Milieus or Fraugen will come out in a bit. Now, no, I, 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 here's the reason why I think they added this, right? Uh, this and this is currently on Global, right now, this and this, but this was first introduced on GP, the bingo, and the, uh, this cave thingy right here was first introduced on GP during the uh, $7 million, $7 million dollar celebration. So I'm guessing they were just like, oh, let's add everything. I don't care. Let's, let's add everything. Uh, and stuff like that, right? This right here, I'm almost sure also was only first introduced on, during the $7 million dollar celebration. But one other thing that a lot of people have been at, uh, a few, I, saw, I saw a few people asking me in the Twitch chat. Uh, um, if I think this guy right here. Because this was just also added to the uh, the global files. The green demon Meliodas. Will he come out soon? I don't think so. Like, the thing is that this guy, th th this picture was never used on JP. Now, that doesn't mean, of course, that it's, it's going to take a while. But this picture has been in the game files on JP since launch of the game and they took months to release him and they didn't even use his art the current art for this Meliodas in the game is not even this one is right here let me show you a picture let me show his uh his little thingy uh, as you can see he's like he has a, a white outfit right here a white and blue and blue outfit well this one has a purple outfit it's because near like they i'm guessing they had an idea of this Meliodas just being like a regular Dia Meliodas, and then um, they were like, oh, let's push this as the New Year's Meliodas, and then we give him a New Year's costume. And that's what happened to him. Uh, this Meliodas is the New Year's Meliodas, and we have no idea if these units, the New Year's units, the Jericho Meliodas and Elizabeth will be pushed until New Year's, or if they'll come out sooner than later. The thing about this is, these three units that I just mentioned are very important to the game. Not because... They are insane. Like, Meliodas is a very good unit, and he's, you know, pretty decent, and so is Jericho and Elizabeth. But they come with some of the most useful costumes in the game. Because Dear Meliodas' costume, the nearest costume, if you apply all three of them, all three of the nearest costumes, you can guarantee yourself when you beat the boss stage, the Crimson Raid. Same goes for Jericho with Grey Demon and Elizabeth for Red Demon. So these three units are very important to the game because of that. They never came back on JP, and I hope they do. I hope they do come back, because a lot of people don't have them. And will they wait until New Year's for this to be on Global? Because I know a lot of people constantly ask me, can I guarantee one of the raids? Because I, I really need a specific one. And the only way to guarantee is if you have the unit with all the costumes, and then you equip the costumes. You can use another one. Another one. When I farm raids, of course, 
I use um, Blue DMLE, right? And then I just put the New Year's costume on Blue DMLE and he guarantees that I get Crimson every time. So, stuff like that. Um, but don't expect, they, they might, they, they might release this unit with this costume, just on global, that would be super dope. Uh, because I, 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 we don't even have this costume on JP, I don't think so. If, I mean, I have the unit, so I, I should have it. No, we don't. We don't have this costume. Like this purple costume, we don't have it on GP. They might just release it on Global like this. And don't wait for New Year's. And release the Jericho and, and uh, Elizabeth also with him, right? For the three raids at any point in time. Like, they can do whatever they want, really. But I wouldn't say anything close to uh, a few months. Um, but yeah, this, this, this was uh, just some interesting, thing I, I, interesting things added to the files. Uh, let, you, let me know what you guys think, but yeah. Don't expect the disaster there for a while, even though you're gonna, you're just gonna be seeing in the game all the time. It's probably not gonna happen for a few months. If I'm have to, if I have to be really honest, but yeah, thank you guys for watching.